All right, I got another boiler here and up about 100 pounds with an engine on it, injector, blow down valves, two pop off valves set at 100 pounds, 110 pounds, something like that. Big old oiler here for the engine. I'll run the engine. from my container there into the boiler. Engine runs real good. Just off a couple of temperatures. This is the throttle right here. It's a globe valve. The exhaust goes up in the stack to create the draft. You probably hear it. That's your water um, boiler blowdown. Water sight glass. I've got uh, a blower draft door right here, an ash pan, and a fire there. And I've got a blower up here. Right down here, the valves right here. You know, all that water is going into the boiler now. It's wide open in the valve there. And you can see the water going down in the can. See it come up here in the water sight glass. Real good injector. We'll blow down valves there. And this is the pressure is going down. It was up at a hundred. With all that cold water going into it, it's cooling the boiler down a little bit. So I'm going to shut it off now. Look how much water went into that boiler in that short amount of time. Amazing. And uh, it's a really good oiler here. Holds a lot of oil, that's the main thing. Pop-off valves are set at 100 pounds. 110, something like that. An old antique whistle. Good. Really loud. Good old antique Crosby steam gauge. Put it on eBay. Stack. Total height of it, just the unit with the stack, is 74 inches, I think, a little over six feet. Let's run the engine again. And 
all brand new. Copper boiler tubes in there, one inch copper boiler tubes. They're belts onto a generator and create electricity, either to AC or DC. Oh, it's all self-contained. All you gotta have is some firewood or coal. That's about it.